G'day guys, it's Lee here again from the Fuji Guys at the Adelaide 500 and I'm here with one of our retailers, Vinny from Camera Pro. How are you? Hi guys, I'm good, thank you. That's good. And Vinny has been working in the photographic in industry for quite some time and he's an X-Pro2 user. And I just wanted to ask, you've used the X-H1 today, what are the sort of two differences that you've seen that you like about the X-H1 over the X-Pro2? Yeah, so I think the first thing for me, and it's really stand out for most people, would be the in-body stabilization. Yep. I think that would be a great thing for me to, you know, shoot on the street, uh, you know, maybe at night times a little bit, and not to worry about, you know, shutter speed and things like that. Um, the second thing for me has been, you know, ergonomics. So, you know, from X-Pro2 to X-H1, ergonomic is fantastic, you know. You've got the both dials there, um, I can change my setting very easily. Okay, yeah. that's great. And and as a street shooter, you yeah. said that you shoot street. What sort of lenses do you use on the X Pro Two? And could you see them being an added advantage with IBIS on those lenses on an X H One? Yeah. So right now I'm, I use mostly 23 f 1.4, basically like a 35. I really want to add the the new 16 1.4 to my you know my bags. Um, I think like. The, the 23 would really benefit with, with the IBIS. Yep. Uh, the 16 is fairly wide, so it should be okay. But at night time, with IBIS, it will be really, really helpful. Right. And also, you, uh, Camera Pro have a YouTube channel. So I see there's a lots of great content on there. I'd yep. recommend for people to go and see it. Right. Is there anywhere else that people can go and find Camera Pro? Yeah, you can definitely hit off our website as well too, which is camerapro.com.au and we also have the blog session there and there's a lot of content that we try to create every day for a lot of uh, enthusiasts. Great. Yeah. And lastly, do you see yourself upgrading to an X-H1 in the future or do you see yourself sticking with the X-Pro2? Um, I think I'm going to stick to the X-Pro2 shortly. Uh, let's see what other lens is bringing out and then maybe I will jump to the X-H1 very shortly cool. after that. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you very much, Vinny, for joining us today yeah. and we'll see you next time. Thank you very much.